Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett, Hardo CP. I'm not mic'd up this afternoon. I'm having a little trouble with my mic. But uh, so last week we were playing with the uh, the new Athlon uh, or the new um, AMD Ryzen, and I mentioned that my water block was not uh, exactly the way I wanted it. And going back in and checking it with a razor blade, even there you can see, wasn't really good and flat. Now it's been a long time since we used this block, but so. Uh, Used to all be this color here. You can definitely see it was chromed. And uh, I didn't decide to start uh, shooting this until I'd already got started. So what I did was we stole uh, my wife's uh, mirror out of the bathroom, which was nice thick glass. So you want a flat surface, because what we're gonna do is sand this down. And uh, we started with a piece of uh, 220 grit. And so as we started doing it, we're gonna lay the block down and start going in a nice circular motion, right? And you can see how that copper starts coming off and we got a circular pattern there. Oop. Got a circular pattern there in the middle of the block. So uh, we know we're taking that material off and I can go back and I can check my razor blade and I can already see that we're getting a ton flatter than where we were. So you know, let's keep moving to a more aggressive piece of the paper. A lot of material came off, tons and tons. You look closer, you can see the, uh, that's all copper material coming off our block. The tops of these new Athlons or these new Ryzen processors are extremely, extremely flat. The integrated heat spreader like we have seen on the Intel processors as well. One thing it's worth noting is the, uh, the new Ryzen processors are all soldered on. We did confirm that with AMD, and of course we've seen some people try to pop those off that hadn't worked too well. Change your directions. As you're going, you can tell where you're moving your material really quickly. And I'm just about down here. This one's looking really nice and flat. They're nice and flat across the majority of the block. In fact, they're where you see it, uh, they're where you see copper. It's down to flat. So that will certainly cover the, uh, the die area on the CPU. That is tremendously flatter than it was. And also doing this, we've got a little less material in between our core and our, uh, our water block. We've removed that nickel plating on there. So like I said, this was 220 grit and keep all that sand off your wife's mirror so you don't scratch it up. So what we've got here is 400 grit, 800 grit, and 2000 grit. And uh, we're gonna work back to a nice smooth finish with these real quick. Won't take long at all. If you want to, you could always tape this down as well. Like I said, a little uh, little lubrication certainly does not hurt as long as you uh, got wet sandpaper. It's just a little bit of bottled water. You got to see our copper coming off around there. So now we can look at the bottom. And you'll be able to tell by the pattern whether or not how much uh, impact you're making. So I already see my cut pattern. I've got my swirl that's different than what I was doing a while ago. See how the copper come off. 
Moving up to 800. And hopefully finish up this time with 2,000. Be real light-handed about this. Not really using much pressure at all. Just letting the block kind of sit there in its own weight. You see this paper's already starting to fill up and we can't get that off there. We're going to move to a new piece, get a little more grab. See the difference. Obviously it's not mirror finished, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice and smooth. I'm going to call that good. We'll get it back on the system. See how it works out.